Dr. Weir? I'm sorry, I don't have time right now. Neither do those people who are trapped aboard the ship of the Ancestors. The news travels fast. I was speaking with one of your expedition members when she was called in to help. Well, then you were aware that we are very short on time. I am. Still, this is important. Okay. You do not know this, but among our people, there is a ritual prayer that is said when one knows that death is upon them. We don't know that it is. I am told it is all but inevitable. By whom? It is not important. What is important is that Taylor be allowed to prepare for death. Knowing the time and place of one's end is a... It's a very rare thing among our people. It is a simple rite that would not take more than a few moments Pauline, to... Pauline, we need to concentrate all of our efforts on saving her. The risk of forsaking Taylor's own beliefs? It is important that we use what little time we have to try everything... I would ask you not to tell me what is important and what is not in this case. I'm sorry. I can't have this conversation right Why now. Why not? Because we are wasting time. This is time that Taylor could use to prepare. All right. You perceive death a certain way. I accept that. In fact, I respect that. But we do not prepare for death. We do everything we can to stave it off. That is who we are. I am not asking you to suspend your efforts. No. You want me to tell everyone on that ship that they should expect to die? I will not send them that message. And if you feel that that violates Taylor's personal rights, I apologize. I truly do. But there's nothing I can do about that right now. I have to go. 